everyone so let's do another lab i hope you remember in our previous class what we done we enable the ssh on the router okay we enable the ssh on this router so what we are going to do now we are going to enable the ssh on this switch so let's do the configuration i will remove this console cable i will connect to the switch here okay i will connect to the switch console cable and then i will go to my what we can say laptop and terminal and this is a default setting click ok some students are facing issue to do this one they are trying to assign the IP and they are saying I cannot assign the IP so first of all see here for layer 3 switch you cannot assign the IP ok for layer 3 switch you can assign the IP but for layer 2 switch you cannot assign the IP if you want to assign the IP in the layer 2 switch then you need to assign inside the VLAN Okay, and also if you want to do any configuration for any particular interface, then better write show IP interface brief. So you know what is the interface you have because some student in the router, they are just assigning the IP to fast Ethernet one by one. You don't have fast Ethernet one by one here. You have the fast Ethernet zero by one. So before doing that configuration, better first check that one, write show IP interface brief then you know what interface you have and then you can go under that interface and do the configuration whatever you want to do okay this is for the router because one student is facing the issue anyhow i will make one short video in that one i will explain so other guys can also understand that one now what we are saying we are going to enable here ssh so if you remember try to join the telegram channel i am going to share this configuration in the telegram channel and this file so you will get there okay and also we are going to start the live batch ccna 200-30 ccna 200-301 okay this is a new live batch we are starting this is a paid batch we are going to discuss each and everything whatever we have in our syllabus that is 200-301 in detail if you are interested reserve your seat because we have limited seat we will not take a student after uh, limited seats because we have limited seats if the seats are filled we cannot take the new student so if you are in interested to join this batch whatsapp us and book your seat because uh, what we can say from uh, 1st september we will have the new batch for the ccna 200-301 okay so anyhow let's start the configuration so what i will do i will divide this notepad and I will copy we can use the same configuration here how to configure SSH in the router so I will copy and paste and we are going to modify as per our requirement I will paste here and I will write here how to configure okay SSH in the Cisco switch Cisco switch configuration is same here you can write whatever the name you want to give I will modify what I want to modify here I go in the enable config T then give the name of the switch I put the enable password I am saying I am I am going to use this domain name then we are going to generate the key and I am going to enable the SSH version 2 and I am going to line VTY 0 to 4 I am saying transport input SSH and then I will say login local then we can create the local user so this configuration is valid let's copy paste and check if we have any issue we are going to check that one okay and we should have one ip to the vlan so we can access with that ip so already we have this ip 192.168.1.100 so let's see here what we are getting here enable password password is playing is wrong so let me correct w o r d w o r d okay password here also where we have w o w p s s w o rd okay so now i will copy paste again this one let's go here i will copy paste and here they are asking me to put the number so i can put this 2048 i can put any number no issue okay and now i will put the enable password so we already have i think already we have that secret password so that's why it is not taking no issue now I can copy paste this from here to here I will copy paste so everything is good now SSH configuration is done I will save this one 
and if you want to check your right show IP interface brief so we know what is IP we have for this switch so we can SSH if you see this is IP for the switch so I will copy this now I can go to my desktop we can do from the command prompt or if you want we have here application go here SSH put the IP address of that that device and whatever the username username is admin okay so we can put this and connect so see password is asking we have password is also admin so now we can sorry what is the password I think I put wrong password admin password is also admin admin it is giving invalid so maybe before we have any username or password I did not remember because this is the old device so better let's check first of all do we have any user here I will go here I will write show run and we are going to check here if you see I have this is enable secret and this is enable password whatever I configured just now now I need to check do we have the user or not here local user so I don't have the local user right I cannot see the local user here we have here this one admin and admin all are admin so we have the user so we should access let's try why it is giving the error maybe my capital lock is on let me check some issue here let me try to access from here okay so what I will do here I will write here SSH okay and username is admin and what is IP 192.168.1.100 I think password is admin okay now I am able to access so there is some issue I think with that but now it is working if I go with the command prompt let me copy paste this also here if you want to access any device with SSH what you will write I will write here if you want to access any device with SSH we will write this okay SSH dash L and write the username and the IP address after that they are going to ask you the password so it is working now I go enable what is the password we give enable password is ABC you can write show version to check the version if you want to check any other thing show IP interface brief to check the IP address or status or if you want to create some VLAN you can go in the global configuration and create VLAN example I am creating VLAN 10 as a HR and VLAN 20 for IT you can create anything just for sample I am creating this one now we can check show VLAN brief so now we have the two VLAN so it is working perfectly I will save the configuration so I can access this device with SSH I will exit now connection is closed if you want to access again how we will access we will write SSH dash L and write the username write the IP address 192.168.1.100 then it will ask you password write password is admin we assign admin enable password is ABC ABC so now we can access okay so everything is working perfectly the configuration is here this is all configuration whatever we done from starting all the configuration three lab configuration is here and we use the same topology for what we can say for this three lab so I'm going to share this topology in our uh, telegram channel so you can join and you can enjoy that one and this configuration is done later we will look some more modification I hope it is easy for you in case if you face any issue you can write in the comments we are going to answer your queries and support you okay and don't forget if you are interested in CCNA WhatsApp us our team is going to help you about your query okay thank you bye